Hi guys, today we are going to make homemade mason jar ice cream. I found this photo, I know you probably can't see it because of the ring light glare, found this photo here on Facebook. One of my friends had shared it and so I did a, a screenshot and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to try to make it. So what you need is one cup of heavy cream, one and a half tablespoons of sugar. I don't use sugar, so I'm substituting for Splenda. And uh, I did the conversion online and Google said the two packets should equal one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Hopefully I did all that right. Uh, we need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and then a pinch of salt. And then once everything is in the mason jar, you shake your mason jar for five minutes and then freeze it for three hours. So let's get started. Let's start with the one cup of heavy cream. I should probably take this off. I wasn't sure if I wanted to pull my hair back or not, so I put a scrunchie on my wrist. But it has hairs on it, so we're just going to get that out of the way. Right, I should have opened everything beforehand, but I wasn't thinking. And I'm filming in the living room because my kitchen's kind of a mess. I'm in the middle of doing laundry and dishes and stuff. And, you know, the, the fun of living in a townhouse. I have to do my laundry in the kitchen because that's where my washer and dryer are. So hopefully <coughs> I don't spill on my living room carpet. Okay, one cup of heavy cream. Oh boy. Okay, we did it. I wanted to do two different ones but I could only find the lid for one of the mason jars I have. I have two mason jars, but I could only find one lid. I was gonna do two different flavors. I was thinking that Fireball might be better than vanilla extract, <laughs> just to have a little punch. Um, okay, we got our one cup of heavy cream in there. Now I need to add my sugar, or Splenda in my case. So again, that is one and a half tablespoons of sugar. I will leave the recipe in the description if you guys want to do this as well. It'll be there for you. Okay, so there's my Splenda. Now we need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh, I didn't open this either. Oh, come on. Why are these little foils so hard to open? It needs like a little pull tab and there's not one. Oh, come on. Oh, and of course I don't have fingernails. Do I want to use my teeth? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I poked a hole in it and it squirted. I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't know if the camera caught it. <laughs> you know, it just wouldn't be me if I didn't make some kind of a mess trying to do a cooking video. Oh, Lord. Okay, so what did it say? One and a half teaspoons. I feel all over the place. It smells wonderful. lid on this before I knock it over <laughs> and then the last thing is a pinch of salt I have a, a shaker so I'm just gonna shake it in there a couple times that should be enough I don't want it too salty this is sea salt oh caramel would have been real good um okay and now we're gonna put the lid on
tight and then we shake it for five minutes. So let's get a timer going. Echo, set timer for five minutes, please. Five minutes, starting now. So I'm gonna speed this up because you probably don't wanna watch me sit here shaking for five minutes straight at regular speed because it would just be boring as heck. So we're gonna speed it up and add some music. later my arms are so sore from shaking this I think next time I will use a blender or mixer instead of shaking it because boy it's quite a workout anyway I'm gonna go put it in the freezer for three hours so in the meantime I guess I'm gonna go catch up on some YouTubes crochet do some things around the house and I will see you back here in three hours for me for you guys it'll be just a matter of seconds because the magical power of editing see you in a few three hours later three hours later it's done and boy is that thing cold so I'm hoping I can get the lid off oh yeah okay I was afraid it was gonna be frozen on Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. This part came off, but this part seems to be stuck. Oh, okay. Whew, popped it. Oh, it smells really good. I was hoping that I would be able to just spoon it out onto my plate here, but... Uh, Um, yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if the mason jar is the right thing to use. I mean, I followed the instructions to a T, except for the, the sugar I substituted. But I'm having a hard time um, spooning it out. Oh, I may have to let it sit for a minute. Okay, I got a little bit on my spoon. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, that tastes like vanilla ice cream. That's incredible. Wow. But yeah, um, how realistically are you supposed to scoop ice cream out of here? Hmm. I don't know. It tastes good, the little bit I was able to scrape off the top here, but I don't know how I would ever get it out of this container. I think if I was to ever do this again, 
I do maybe a square, like shake it in the mason jar and then pour it into a different container. Like I have um, a square glass, like baking pan for brownies that has a lid. I think I'd put it in that just so it's easier to scoop it out than this because you can't get your hand in there to scoop that out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> Very creamy. It tastes really good. Definitely tastes like ice cream. So that's a good thing. It's just the, uh, don't know if the jar is the way to do it. Hmm. Okay. Well, learning experience. Pardon me. I'm going to let it sit out for a little bit. And maybe I can make a milkshake out of it. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I had a vanilla Coke. Because I think if I poured a vanilla Coke in there, it would make a really good Coke float. I might actually walk to the store and do that. Let's do that. A few moments later. I'm back. They didn't have vanilla Coke at the corner store. They had cherry vanilla. So that's what I got. They're slim pickings. Jeez. Crazy. Okay, anyway. Let's see if I can make a cherry vanilla Coke float with this mess. <laughs> Hope it doesn't end up sucking because that'd be a terrible waste of a cherry vanilla Coke. I mean, the walk to the store was good. I needed to get out of the house and get some fresh air, so I'm not complaining about that, but I hate wasting money. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, don't. Don't overflow. Yikes. <laughs> That actually might work because now I'm able to move the ice cream around a little bit better. Do I need more Coke in there? I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Got chunks of the, the ice cream in there. That was really good. Now I have chunks stuck in the straw. There we go. Why do all my food blogs fail? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's good. Okay. Mason jar ice cream is good if you want to make a Coke float. If you want it just to have ice cream, I would recommend mixing it up in the mason jar and then putting it in another container, like I said earlier. But if you want to do a Coke float, this is perfect. Oh, holy moly. Okay, stop. I'm gonna make a mess. Hmm, <laughs> that's really good. So, not too bad. I don't know if it's something I would do all the time because it's just easier and cheaper to buy vanilla ice cream from the grocery store. <laughs> but it was fun to experiment. Oh, I thought I was gonna belch there for a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you want to 
try this. If you try it, never mind. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Bye.